Welcome back to Palangi 21. Today I will show you the best games released in 2023. Starfield is an action role-playing video game. The player can switch between a first-person and third-person perspective at any time. The game features an open world in the form of an area within the Milky Way galaxy, containing both fictional and non-fictional planetary systems. The player is able to land on more than 1,000 planets and an unspecified number of moons and space stations. Wild Hearts is an action role-playing video game. Players assume the role of a nameless hunter, who must embark on quests to hunt down massive monsters known as Kemono in the world of Azuma. Azuma is not an open world, but instead, several large areas that players can freely explore. The game features eight different weapon types, including the likes of Waigasa and Katana. Wolong Fallen Dynasty is an action role-playing video game. At the beginning of the game, players can create and customize their own player avatar, and choose from one of five phases. The game offers two options for closed-range attacks. To succeed in combat, players are required to deflect attacks using their melee weapons, as this will create opportunities for them to counter an opponent's attacks. Each enemy has a morale rank, which indicates how challenging the combat encounter will be. More difficult enemies would drop more valuable loot. Forza Motorsport is a sim racing video game. At launch, Forza Motorsport features more than 500 vehicles and 800 upgrades, as well as 20 newly built tracks. While over 100 of these will be new to the series, many of them will be returning from earlier Forza Motorsport games. Persona 5 Taktika is a tactical role-playing video game in which the player controls a party of up to three characters on a grid-based map populated by enemy units, who are directly confronted through the initiation of turn-based encounters. Characters can take cover during battle to reduce the amount of damage they take, or block it altogether. At any point while navigating the grid, characters can take actions, or end their turn early to gain a beneficial effect in the next turn. Star Ocean The Second Story R is a remake of the popular game. In this science fantasy RPG, choose between Claude or Rena, play through their perspectives, and unlock various endings. Recruit allies and defeat foes in fast-paced real-time battles. Venba is a narrative cooking video game. The core gameplay involves Venba's journey of restoring lost recipes through trial and error. In each chapter, Venba and her son Kavin, explore their familial relationships through food, which plays out in puzzles. The player consults the cookbook to recreate the recipes, as Venba contemplates her own memories to help piece together any missing instructions. Warhammer 40,000 Bolt Gun is a single-player first-person shooter in which the player controls a space marine battling against Chaos Space Marines and Chaos Demons. Its gameplay and artistic style are heavily influenced by first-person shooters from the 1990s such as Doom, but the developers have highlighted their inclusion of modern gaming features like the use of modern enemy behavior AI. The Expanse, a Telltale series is an episodic adventure game. The player can move around various environments, and use point-and-click actions to interact with objects. Non-player characters can also be interacted with, triggering dialogue choices that change the trajectory of story events and will affect how other characters view the player, helping to determine the ending of the game. Thirsty Suitors is an adventure game about a young woman, Jala, who returns to her hometown for her sister's wedding and must navigate her relationships with her family and former paramours. The player can engage in various game modes, including skateboarding, cooking minigames, and character conversations which function like turn-based battles. Blasphemous 2 is a 2D side-scrolling Metroidvania action-adventure game. Players assume control of the Penitent One, a silent knight who must embark on a new adventure in a new kingdom to prevent the rebirth of a curse named the Miracle. The story of the game is set after the Wounds of Eventide update of the original game. Bayonetta Origins Ceresa and the Lost Demon is an action-adventure video game. Gameplay is split between the protagonist Ceresa, a 15-year-old witch, and Cheshire, a demon bound to her stuffed toy. Both are controlled simultaneously. Ceresa is controlled using the left Joy-Con while Cheshire is controlled using the right. Cheshire can be toggled between two modes. Stray Gods, the role-playing musical follows Grace, 
a college dropout who finds herself accused of murdering the last muse. Grace must prove her innocence to a pantheon of Greek gods, consisting of Athena, Apollo, Persephone, and Aphrodite, all within seven days. She must learn to wield her newly developed powers of music to find out the truth behind Calliope's death. Players select dialogue choices, which change the lyrics, musical style, and even outcome of the songs. Season, a letter to the future follows Estelle, a woman traveling the world, as she records her experiences in her journal. She can document her sightings by writing, drawing, taking photos, and recording audio and videos. The game also features extended bicycling segments. When Estelle dismounts, she can interact with non-player characters and share her findings with them. Octopath Traveler 2 is a role-playing video game. The player moves between eight separate characters, each with their own purpose for traversing the game world. Once again, each character has their own path action, a particular means for the player to have the respective character interact with non-player characters in the game world, often with the goal of getting reward items or characters to fight in support of their cause. Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name is an action-adventure video game. Players control Kazuma Kiryu as they explore the Sadenbori district of Osaka. Mini games such as karaoke, pocket circuit racing, cabaret club, and fighting arena also return. A new character named Akame acts as an informant, providing Kiryu with submissions. Kiryu has access to two fighting styles, Yakuza and Agent. Mortal Kombat 1 features a story mode, online multiplayer with rollback netcode, and offline gameplay. The game introduces a feature called Cameo Fighters, which provides assistance to the player during fights in a similar fashion to the Tag Assist Fighters of the Towers of Time mode in Mortal Kombat 11. Fatal Blows returns with different functionality. For single player, the game features the return of the plot-driven story mode and the traditional form of Towers mode from the previous games. Amnesia the Bunker is a first-person survival horror video game. The game is set in World War I, and the player assumes control of French soldier Henri. He is trapped in an underground bunker and hunted by a mysterious but photosensitive monster named the Beast. To survive in the bunker, Henri must maintain the base's power while collecting resources and ammo, which are randomly placed in the game's map. Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon emphasizes mecha-based vehicular combat. Players in this game take on the role of expert pilots in control of strong mechs known as Armored Cores. The huge flexibility for modification of these mechs with the use of various parts allows players to enhance and sharpen their capabilities. Avatar, Frontiers of Pandora is an open-world action-adventure game. Players take control of a Navi orphan raised and trained as a soldier by the Resources Development Administration, before being put into suspended animation and waking up 15 years later in an abandoned facility. The game's story is said to be partially tied to the films, while remaining standalone. The game also supports two-player cooperative multiplayer. Shadow Gambit, the cursed crew is set in an alternate version of the Golden Age of Piracy, in which a mysterious curse has revived the dead and granted them with supernatural abilities. The player must assemble a cursed pirate crew to explore an island chain named the Lost Caribbean and steal magical artifacts from the Inquisition which seeks to hunt down all the cursed individuals. The Finals is a free-to-play first-person shooter, and revolves around people competing in a televised virtual combat game show. This is reflected in the holographic crowds which are seen during gameplay, as well as the commentary provided by the game in the form of various hosts making observations about the status of a given team or the game itself. The Talos Principle 2 is a first-person puzzle game. The core mechanic for the player is to be able to press a button at the end of an enclosed puzzle, which is separated from the entrance of the puzzle by various mechanics the player must utilize to gain access. To complete the main story, the player must complete 8 different puzzles in each of the 12 main areas. Players can find sparks hidden in different parts. Utilizing a spark allows players to clear a puzzle without solving it. Viewfinder is based on mapping the images contained in photographs or other two-dimension works onto the three-dimensional space of the game's world, creating new geometries and layouts. These are used to solve puzzles and access teleporter devices at the end of each level. The player may be required to power the teleporter using batteries, or activation of other power devices, 
before using the teleport. The player later gains a Polaroid-style camera, and can use images taken in the same manner as other photographs. Street Fighter VI is a masterpiece of tight combat mechanics, luxurious visuals, and a thriving multiplayer scene. The game features three overarching game modes, Fighting Ground, World Tour, and Battle Hub. Fighting Ground contains local and online versus battles as well as training and arcade modes. World Tour is a single-player story mode featuring a customizable player avatar exploring 3D environments, with action-adventure gameplay. Battle Hub acts as an online lobby mode, using customizable player avatars from the World Tour mode. Lies of P is played from a third-person perspective. The player controls the humanoid Pinocchio and travels on foot through the city of Krat, exploring the environment and fighting various biomechanical enemies. Pinocchio uses an arsenal of weapons such as swords and axes against his enemies and can dodge and block their blows. Pinocchio has a mechanical arm that can be equipped with gadgets, such as a grappling hook to lower enemies or a flamethrower. Assassin's Creed Mirage is an action-adventure stealth game intended to be reminiscent of older Assassin's Creed titles, being more linear and story-focused and reducing the number of role-playing elements present in recent installments of the series. Parkour, Close Quarter Combat, and stealth are core elements of the gameplay. For assassination missions, Mirage adopts the black box design previously seen in Assassin's Creed Unity and Assassin's Creed Syndicate, where players have to explore the environment to find different ways to reach and eliminate their targets. Hi-Fi Rush is a rhythm action game where the protagonist Chai, his enemies, and parts of the environment move to the beat. Attacking on rhythm is not required, as actions automatically sync up with the music. But by timing the button presses right the players are rewarded with higher damage output and timing-based combo finishers deal additional damage. In addition to the beat em up action mechanics, there are also rhythm-based minigame elements where players repeat cues in a call and response fashion, or press buttons in rhythmic sequence based on on-screen cues. Dave the Diver is an adventure game, and players primarily control Dave, a deep-sea diver who is talked into managing a sushi restaurant and supplying it with the fish they need. Players can collect resources to upgrade or craft new items for Dave to use, such as diving gear and weapons to use in boss fights against giant underwater creatures. Sea of Stars is a retro-styled role-playing video game centered on two heroes named Valer and Zael, who use the power of the moon and sun respectively to fight against the creations of an evil alchemist. Gameplay includes elements of puzzle solving and turn-based combat, with players able to control up to six player characters. Final Fantasy XVI is an action role-playing game in which players take control of protagonist Clive Rosefield and a rotating party of AI-controlled companions through segmented open areas across the continents of Valisthea. Recurring Final Fantasy elements, such as the bird-like chocobo and monster types, appear in the game. Following a story-driven prologue section, Clive is able to travel to different parts of Valisthea. The world is split between enclosed dungeon environments, town environments, and wider open fields, all selected from a map via a fast travel menu. Cocoon is a third-person puzzle video game. The player controls a small insectoid creature navigating multiple desolate worlds. The player wakes up in a barren wasteland, soon after discovering a mysterious orb. Each orb contains one of the game's worlds, allowing the player to hop between them, while also doubling as a unique ability in itself. The orb can also be used to power the various machinery found in these desolate worlds, such as lifts and platforms. As the player reaches the end of each orb, they are confronted by a boss fight they must complete by using a mechanic to impede the creature. Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty brings a sense of finality to Cyberpunk 2077 a game that has had a long redemption arc play out in the year since it was first released in a less than optimal state. With this expansion, Cyberpunk 2077 goes out with a bang as developer CD Projekt Red begins to push forward on its sequel, and the result is a captivating story within a tightly constructed spy thriller adventure. Phantom Liberty is Cyberpunk 2077 at its very best, a complete overhaul of the original game that leaves a lasting impression by the time that the credits roll on its thrilling tale of espionage and violence. Hogwarts Legacy is an immersive, open-world action RPG set in the world first introduced in the Harry Potter books. 
It is set in Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry and its surrounding areas, influenced by the Wizarding World franchise. During character creation, the player can choose their character's appearance, gender, voice, and body type. They may also choose one of the four Hogwarts houses. As players progress through the game, their player character learns to cast spells, brew potions, and master combat abilities, eventually developing their own special combat style. Bramble the Mountain King is an adventure game based on Scandinavian folklore. It is played from a third-person perspective and has elements of horror games. Ola must traverse locales common to fairy tales. Travel is generally linear, and to continue, players must occasionally solve puzzles or jump across platforms. There are also occasional action sequences where players must engage frightening monsters in boss fights. Dredge is a single-player fishing adventure with a sinister undercurrent. The player controls the fisherman, who on a small motorized boat traverses the water surrounding a group of islands, catching various fish and salvage they can sell at the settlement or to traveling merchants for boat upgrades. And those upgrades are certainly needed when night falls as the catch of the day turns to sea monsters, ghost ships, and strange phenomena enhanced by the fisherman's hallucinations. As he explores, completing side quests, gathering artifacts, and capturing messages in bottles, it becomes clear that the waters are hiding a much larger mystery. Super Mario Bros. Wonder is the side-scrolling Mario game. Players can choose between Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, Princess Daisy, Toad, Toadette, Nabbit, and Yoshi as they explore the Flower Kingdom and work to save it from Bowser. The game also supports multiplayer, up to four characters. But one new feature that mixes things up is the Wonder Flowers, which have a reality-altering effect on the map when collected. Diablo 4 is the ultimate action RPG experience with endless evil to slaughter, countless abilities to master, nightmarish dungeons, and legendary loot. The iconic dungeon crawler returned with more classes, more weapons, and more demons to slay. You can travel between five beautifully rendered regions. As usual, the player collects better gear and weapons while taking on harder enemies, leading to the game's main antagonist. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is an action-adventure game, and offers new customizable features, like Kestis appearance, force abilities, and lightsaber stance, allowing the player to change combat strategies depending on the enemy type. Much like the first game in the series, don't get too comfortable with your Jedi prowess as enemies are often tougher than they appear. The game introduces a fast travel feature, which makes going back for collectibles and previously locked doors all the easier. Dead Space is the remake of the iconic survival horror game, and puts the player back into the mining suit of Isaac Clarke as he searches for his girlfriend. But the ship is overrun by necromorphs, set loose by the mysterious stone artifact known as the Marker. Not only is Isaac no longer a silent protagonist, he also now traverses the ship's anti-gravity sections with more ease. Small blessings like these make the game's scares a little more endurable, but one can never rest too comfortably as threats lurk around every corner, bursting out of doors, vents, and fallen crew members. Resident Evil 4 is the remake of the popular game, and players take control of US agent Leon S. Kennedy as he fights to save the president's daughter, from the dual threats of the Los Illuminados cult in Spain and the mysterious virus known as Las Plagas. The remake updates combat, allowing Leon to move and fire his weapon at the same time as well as block with his knife. The map has also been updated, with additional areas and enemies for Leon to make his way through. The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom expands the open world aspect, adding caverns and sky islands to explore. The player takes control of Link as he explores the world of Hyrule in search of Zelda, and tries to prevent the Demon King from destroying the world. The fluidity of both Link's movement and combat, along with new power-ups, makes traversing Hyrule a fun, though naturally challenging experience. Alan Wake 2 is divided between two protagonists and their journeys. The first is FBI agent Saga Anderson, who is drawn to the small town of Bright Falls, to investigate a mysterious cult with ties to Wake's novels. The second is Alan Wake as he tries to free himself from the seemingly endless loop of the dark place that he's been trapped in for those 13 years. Eventually, their two narratives converge and their seemingly separate journeys are revealed to be more enmeshed than either of them thought. Alan Wake 2 is a complex yet rewarding narrative, 
and it's a game worth revisiting to discover additional clues and connections. Spider-Man 2 puts the player in control of both Peter Parker and Miles Morales, giving them both their own arcs that aptly reflect where they are in their lives respectively. The return of Harry Osborn and the emergence of Kraven the Hunter shake up Miles, Peter, and MJ's partnership, and the arrival of Venom threatens to tear the city apart. They improve the gameplay even further with the addition of web wings, and a reconstructed gadget and power will which makes taking down enemies a much smoother and more immediate process. Baldur's Gate 3 is set in the open world of the Forgotten Realms. Players design a character, choosing from 12 classes, and join a party of pre-generated characters for an adventure that can be played solo or multiplayer, allowing the player to toggle between the two. The gameplay utilizes turn-based combat and encourages mixing up attacks and relying on the party. While much of this is fairly customary for fantasy RPGs, it's the supporting characters and relationships you can develop that really make Baldur's Gate 3 a special experience. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notification.